welcome back. SSN Institutions today celebrated its 13th annual SSN Scholarship Day by announcing scholarships worth 3.5 crore for this academic year. The SSN Trust scholarships were introduced in 1999. Till date, around 5,500 students have benefited from these scholarships awarded by SSN Institutions from these scholarships. A notable feature of this year's event is the benevolence of the institution's alumni who have contributed 4.5 lakhs towards the cause. Here is a question for you. Who wears green, drives at over 320 clicks an hour for a living and loves his lotus? Well, we won't leave you guessing. Here is the answer and much, much more with our correspondent Natasha Doraiswamy. Well, the first ever Indian Grand Prix is right around the corner, and we have Karun Chandok with us today. Um, Karun, really, there seems to be a multifaceted side to most of the Formula One drivers today. Um, what do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, uh, multifaceted is a good word for it, I think. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, you see here just the ones we've got behind us. You know, and I think the Shijo has done a fantastic job with the caricatures here. Uh, just, you know, Sebastian and Michael and Jensen and stuff, you know, he's picked up really key features and, and made it uh, in a very light-hearted way. I think the drivers will really appreciate it. Well, if we take a look at the one with Karun Chandok up there, do you think uh, the Indian fans would probably prefer that Karun Chandok to the real one? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think my mother will because uh, I don't look very clean-shaved over there and she doesn't like that. But, uh, uh, no, I, I think, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's nice to have light-hearted sides to our sport. You know, we have a, a very serious business most of the time and people sort of in our own, lost in our own little bubble, in our own little world, and I think it's, it's nice to do something light-hearted for a change. All right. Uh, what comes to your mind when I say the following, downforce? Uh, performance, because that's what uh, is everything in F1 today. Uh, Indian fans? Uh, new and uh, hopefully enthusiastic. The fastest straight line track? I think interesting, uh, not only for the fastest straight line, but I think the overtaking opportunities it will present uh, and also spectator areas are fantastic. Lotus? Great team and uh, I hope to be back racing with them sometime in the near future. HRT Hispania? Uh, thankful to them for giving me my first opportunity in F1 and um, you know, that's something I'll never forget. All right, on a lighter note now, if we can um, move the camera back a bit. Now, when you present all these caricatures to the famous Formula One drivers, do you think they're going to be offended that these key features which you just pointed out that Shiju has noticed and brought out in the limelight, do you think they're going to be offended by them? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, mo most of the guys have a good sense of humor. They may not show it on the outside, but, um, uh, you know, I I've, I've said to Shiju, I've offered to to take each of these uh, guys a, a book and personally deliver it myself. And uh, I think they'll all appreciate it for sure. All right. Now, when you stand with Narain Karthikin, what comes to your mind? Um, colleague and, uh, you know, fellow ambassador for the sport, I think. I think that's a very important part for both of us. All right. So, Narain Karthikin and Karan Chandok, uh, two Indian representatives, obviously, at the Formula One track. Um, I must say, it's, it's going to be a huge explosive experience, really, for all the Indian, drive, Indian fans, really, and uh, for both of you as well, and everyone coming for the first time to India. Thanks so much for talking to us. While these elections saw the citizens of the city demand answers and quick redressal of issues like unrepaired roads and open deathbeds masked as storm water drains, one family in Chennai is bearing the brunt of one such unfortunate incident involving one such drain. Over to a campaign that seeks justice for a little boy. This is NDTV Hindu's Save Baby Ganesh Drive. It was in January last year when four and a half year Ganesh fell into a 20 feet deep uncovered stormwater drain. The little boy, though he survived the fall, has been in a coma for an entire year and has recovered only partially. Ganesh's fight for survival today continues with frequent physiotherapy sessions. But ever since, his parents can barely make ends meet. It will help if the authorities write to help with aid. That would have been enough. That would have been sufficient. If you feel moved by this story and would like to help, you can contribute or get in touch with us here in NDTV Hindu. Write to us at feedback at ndtvhindu.com. In fact, 
Since hearing of the plight of the little child, many viewers have been calling in and reaching out via email to lend support to Ganesha's PD recovery. Some viewers have written in expressing their interest to meet with the parents of baby Ganesh personally, while others have offered monetary contribution. Just to look at the list of those good souls who have offered and helped extend its support to baby Ganesh. M. Chandrasekhar, N. Sundar, Kishore, O.R., P. Krishnamurti, Madhavin, Vishwanathan, Balaji V., K. S. Narayanamurti, Rati Vinayakam, Aravind, Madhavin R., Chalavadi S., V. Chandran, Madhavin, Ganesh Kumar, Yuvraj, Prasad, Anu, Ganesh, Kumaran, Parthiban, Meenakshi Priya, N.S.M. Kumar, Muthu Kumar, Usha Subramanyam, Shanmuga Srivatsan, Krishnan, Shyam Natraj, Ramesh Sabapati, Senthal, Raghupati, Venkatraman and Ramesh Venkatraman. So once again, if you'd like to extend help, please do. Our lines are always open. You can also write in to us at feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. That's all we have on the Late Night News. Have a good night.